So it is no mystery that the S197 Mustang you're currently driving was heavily inspired by the Mustangs of the 69 and 1970 design. Now the biggest and baddest Mustangs of that era came optioned with window louvers, much like the ones I've got on the table in front of me right now. So if you own a 2010 to 2014 S197 and you really wanna drive home that classic fastback look of decades past, you should be checking out these MMD ABS louvers. Install is a very easy 3M job, no drilling is required. So I'm giving this install an easy one out of three wrenches on my patent to difficulty meter. Should only take you about 30 minutes to get these installed. So like I said, these louvers do pay homage to the specially packaged Mustangs of the 69 and 70 era. Specifically, the Boss 302 and 429 both often came available with these louvers. Combine these with a black billet grill, some stripes, and maybe a shaker hood system, and you can easily transform your S197 into a pretty nice 69 or 70 GT replica. Now, what I like about these louvers in particular is how easily they install and come off for window cleaning. The louvers install using 3M adhesive, as you can see on those brackets right there, but the brackets, which are metal, do have bolts installed so you can remove the louvers if you ever want to. This is a very nice touch, especially considering your rear window can get pretty dirty. And let's face it, you don't want to try squeezing a rag in between these slats to clean your window. Now, as far as options go, MMD's ABS louvers that I've got here come in at around $300. They are ABS plastic, which is very durable. It's not gonna fade or crack unless you really abuse it. And you've got the other option from ENG, which is also made out of ABS, but those louvers are a little more understated and a little more flat. While the wheel pack louvers that you see on the site are made of aluminum, they'll actually run you about $200 more than these ones. Now, lastly, you have Speedforms louvers. Those are also made out of ABS and they cost about the same as MMD's louvers right here. However, they are much more closed off. These slats are much closer together. They provide a lot more window coverage and less visibility, keep that in mind. Now again, install is very straightforward. All you need are the provided 3M strips there and the louver plates. So this gets one out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. Without further ado, let's head over to the garage and I will show you guys how to get these installed. All right, so we pulled my buddy Justin's car into the garage and we're gonna throw these louvers on to give you an idea of what they look like and to show you how they actually work. Now, like I said, this is a very simple 3M job. I'm gonna show you how to get these brackets hooked up onto the louver. Then we're gonna prep our windshield. And I'm gonna show you how to lay this down so it's installed permanently. First things first, you're gonna take one of your brackets you're gonna take the little nut off of the end and you're gonna thread the bracket through all of the holes that you see around all the edges of the louver. You wanna make sure that the bracket is oriented so that it's hidden underneath the plastic of the louver itself. You don't want it turned a certain way so you can see the brackets from the outside. Now you can hand tighten these. You can also use a 516 socket. I wouldn't tighten these down too much. Maybe give it a quarter turn.
All right, so we have all eight brackets attached to our window louvers. Now our kit did come with an extra bracket, which would make for nine. So if yours comes with an extra one, don't be hunting around for an extra mounting point. There are eight brackets in total that you need to install. With that all set up, you can see the underside here. All of our 3M adhesive is ready to go. The next step is prepping our windshield. They provide you with some alcohol prep pads and some adhesion promoter to make sure these stick nice and tight. Let's go ahead and clean our windshield off and we can get started. All right, with our windshield prepped, it's time for us to peel off our 3M adhesive. We're gonna go ahead and install it on our windshield. Now, it's good to have a helping hand with you once you do stick these down. It's very difficult to get them back up, so you only have one shot at this. But with that said, let's go ahead and peel these off. All right, so all of our 3M is peeled and we made sure our brackets are all lined up so they are concealed underneath the louvers. You go wanna have your trunk open for this. You have to slide the louvers underneath the deck lid and I'm gonna have a friend help me apply this. All right, so with your louvers pressed down, you are good to go. Something to note with 3M adhesive, I would let the car sit for at least two hours or so, make sure it cures well, and I would wait at least 24 hours before you wash your vehicle or take it through a car wash. Other than that, that actually wraps up my review and install of MMD's ABS rear window louvers fitting your 10 to 14 S197. I'm Travis, thanks for watching. For all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.